Today we start working on solving one-step equations. So we'll jump right in, and there's a lot to this, but we'll start easy and then we'll get more complicated pretty rapidly. How do we solve x plus 7 equals 4? Well, we want to get the 7 over, so we subtract it from both sides. And when I do this, I often cross it out to show that it vanishes, and then I add or subtract down. So 4 plus negative 7, or 4 minus 7 is negative 3 x equals negative 3. Underline it just to show I'm done. But more importantly, I need to check it. So put the negative 3 back into the original equation. Negative 3 plus 7 is 7 minus 3 is 4. And I always put a little check mark next to it to show that I've checked it. Now it may seem like it takes a lot of extra time, <clears throat> but I cannot overemphasize. Always check your work. It's never done until you've checked it. I made dozens of mistakes all of which I caught when I checked the problem. So that's how to add or, add or subtract. Here, we're going to divide. So we have a negative 6 out in front of the x we want to get rid of, so we divide it from both sides. Again, I'll cross it out to show that it's gone. And here, I'm not crossing it out, I'm just reducing. There's 1, negative 6, or negative 1, negative 6s, and there's 8 6s. So we end up with x equals 8 over negative 1 also known as x equals negative 8. Underline it's done, but we still got to check it. Negative 8 times negative 6 is positive 48. Looks good. So we just did the problems. <clears throat> That's probably what most of you need to know, but we'll, we'll talk about it real quick. There's a few properties you need to know. This is the addition subtraction property of equality. And you can picture this balance beam with, I don't know, we'll write people in on both sides. And we want to keep our equation balanced. So what's in the middle of the equation is our equal. So whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other side. So if we add 2 here, then we have to add 2 here. If we subtract 1 here, then we have to subtract 1 here. It's a teeter-totter, whatever you want to call it, seesaw. It's got to stay balanced. Otherwise, you're not solving it properly. When you go to check, it won't work. Same thing applies for multiplication and division. Again, if we multiply by 3, then we have to multiply by 3. If we divide by 2, then we have to divide by 2 on the other side. And that's about it. They're called uh, addition subtraction property of equality and a multiplication division property of equality. You probably don't need to memorize that. So here's some practice for you. Simple one step, subtract 7 both sides. y equals 3. Not done. 3 plus 7 equals 10. Check. Add 5 both sides. x equals 8. Not done. 8 minus 5 equals 3. Check. Now, the variables on the other side. t, no big deal. Just move everything over to the other side. This is the middle of the teeter-totter, so it does not matter. They cancel, and we get t equals 8. And we can always write this the other way. 8 equals t is equivalent to t equals 8. 8 minus 2 is 6, checks. Divide by 4 both sides, cancel, cancel, x equals 9 over 1, x equals 9, 4 times 9 is 36, checks. Divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5, cancel, get 1, get 13, 13 equals y, and like we said before, we can write it y equals 13. Negative 5 times 13 is 65. Probably want to check that with the calculator. Make sure the mental math we did in our head is correct. Divide by 6, divide by 6, they cancel. 1 and negative 9, w equals negative 9. Notice I did not write the 1 underneath it. As you do these, you can definitely start to shortcut your work and make things a little bit more streamlined, but always check. 6 times negative 9 is negative 54. So that was one step equation. Now we solve two step equations. Now, one of the things we want to think about here is our order of operations, PEMDAS. And this won't hold for all the time, but we're kind of doing things in the opposite direction now. So we do addition, subtraction first. Multiplication, division, second. So I'll rewrite the equation just so I have some room to work on it. 
subtract five, subtract five. They cancel. X over two equals six. Now we haven't done this one before. We have a X over two or a one half X. So we're just gonna multiply it by two out front. Multiply it by two out front. We can put the two on either side because of the commutative property. Two's cancel. X equals 12. Not done. And now it becomes more important to check because you have two steps. So it's easier to make a mistake somewhere along the line. 12 over two is six plus five is 11. Checks. And as I just said, the opposite of the order operations, but it just doesn't always apply with the parentheses. Sometimes you want to get rid of the parentheses first. We'll get to that later. So let's practice. Subtract 9, subtract 9. Cancel. 5x equals 24 minus 9, 15. Divide both sides by 5. Cancel. 1, 3. x equals 3. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 9 is 24, checks. Add 7, add 7, cancel. 6 equals z over 3, multiply by 3, multiply by 3. z equals, and I'm actually going to start combining that last step, just putting z over here, 18. 18 divided by 3 is 6, 6 minus 7 is negative 1, checks. Now we did the distributive property and we talked about combining like terms. Sometimes you have to combine your like terms first. And if you have multiple terms, you must combine them first. It's just not always in the equation. So look for it. 7x minus 4x is 3x. Divide by 3. Divide by 3. You can see things are starting to go a lot faster. x equals 7. 7 times 7 is 49. Minus 28 is 21. Check. 9x minus 3x is 6x, divide by 6, divide by 6, cancel, cancel, x equals 6. 9 times 6 is 54, 3 times 6 is 18. I'm not trusting my brain on that, so I'm going to go 54 minus 18 in my calculator off to the side is 36. Beautiful. And then we get back, of course, can never get away from our word problems. Life is word problems. It's very rare that the algebra pops up right away. So the output of a function, when we see output, we say that's the y value, is 3 less than 5 times the input. When we see input, that's the x value. So we write the equation. y equals it's 3 less than 5 times the input. And that's one of our keywords, after. So we get 5x minus 3. Now it says, find the input when the output is 17. And again, output is the y value. So 17 equals 5x minus 3 plus 3 plus 3. 20 equals 5x. Divide by 5, divide by 5, cancel, cancel, 4. x equals 4. Write it a little more clearly here. X equals 4. And hoping we wrote our equation right. 5 times 4 is 20. Minus 3 is 17. Checks. That's it. Good luck.